What do we got? What surprise do we have behind door number one? Yay! More important things to worry about here. We got a Home Depot! Bam! Touchdown. But this is a Home Depot turbo load, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever come across like a Home Depot turbo pallet and it's raw and it hasn't been touched by anyone and messed with anyone, 100% buy it. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. If you guys wanna see more turbo load content, go on Lindy Glenn's channel. She was actually here a few months ago when we got another one and she did like a very extensive video on it. So a uh, shout out to Lindy. Go check out her channel because she has a bunch of truckload options too. And I know for a fact that she recorded one of the HD turbos that we unloaded a few months ago. But as you guys can see, our case pack over here is looking pretty. Nice, fine, place to find something nice every time. All right, Home Depot Turbo Time, baby, with Nice Fine Wholesale. Today, on Friday, we received a truckload that wasn't supposed to arrive till Tuesday, but that's how liquidation goes, and we're happy to have it. We're happy it's here. We're happy it showed up even at all. So, Home Depot Turbo, I know you guys all heard about it. I know you guys seen videos about it, and I know you guys have all been wondering how, what, where, why, how much, this and that. So that's what we're gonna show you today. First things first, let me break down to you how America's biggest hardware slash tool slash building supplies retailer sells their truckloads and what you can expect on them, all right? So HD slash Home Depot has probably hundreds of different programs, maybe not hundreds, but tens for sure. And Turbo is just one of those programs. So HD Turbo is a program that comes into two different categories, smalls and larges, all right? And as you can see inside of these Gaylords, it makes sense why these are called HD Smalls because they're filled with a ton of smaller type items like light bulbs, hardware, tools, a lot of small stuff that you find on hangers at Home Depot, all right? All of the small stuff, I would say, we always say smaller than a shoebox. Pretty much that's kind of the vibe, you know, like this is as big of an item as you're gonna get inside of one of these Gaylords, typically. Oh, see, this is why we love these things. It's a Milwaukee battery set. Off the top of my head, being the non-handy, uh, non-construction man in the family that I am, I would say this is around 100 bucks, give or take, 80 to 120. But that's just a liquidator guess, not a construction worker guess. Cause like said, my dad is very disappointed that I don't know how to use tools, so. Sorry, dad, sorry, tata. <laughs> so, these are smalls, as you can see, you'll also get something random and super big that's obviously bigger than a shoebox, right? But, like look at this Gaylor, like, do, does, does this make sense? Like, do you think the smartest guy in the warehouse made this pallet? I, I just highly, highly doubt it. I mean, look at this. It's barely fit on the truck, but it is what it is. You deal with it. That's what we're here for, right? So, that's kind of the smalls. These are the larges, all right? So this is what a large pallet will look like, a turbo large. So we get the mix loads. You probably would too if you purchased one. And then to be honest, it's kind of the luck of the draw of how many you get of the smalls, how many you get of the larges. This time around, and these are considered smalls. I know they're not in Gaylords, and I said that smalls are in Gaylords, but these are also considered smalls in my book. They're considered larges in, but that could also be the case. That's liquidation for you. There is no straight up 100% accurate information, it's just a bunch of speculation and it's a bunch of words and phrases that everybody just throws out and you hope for the best. And that's kind of what we did here and I am pretty satisfied from the general looks of it. It literally just got here two hours ago. This is gonna be a money maker, all right? But yeah, these are the largest. Vanities, sinks, patio furniture, patio sets. There's a crib. There is a black wicker dome egg chair, like probably one of those like patio ones. We might keep that one for the office. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, random building supplies. You know, we've had pallets of flooring, we've had pallets of tiles, we've had pallets of grills, we've had pallets of Christmas decorations, like those blow up kangaroos and shit in your front yard. Yeah, this is a vanity set, I would call it, because you got the mirror with the lights, then you have the sink, which if I was a betting man is probably damaged and cracked, so. That goes that. There's also a rocking chair right here. Oh, and then you do, boom, there you go. Look, this is a perfect example. Like, this is the type of you're gonna have to deal with, guys. Maybe we should start a segment. Reality check. This is liquidation. This is what you gotta deal with. You get 15 loose tiles that are gonna probably make a mess, probably had in the truck that it came in. And if you're not careful, those are gonna make a mess in the warehouse. But the reality check is that you have to accept what comes. 
ask the right questions from whoever you're buying this from, make sure you know what you're purchasing, get educated, watch more nice find videos, watch other liquidators videos. You know, like I said, Lindy Glenn, she dropped a video of the HD Turbo that she saw in our warehouse eight months ago. Go watch her video and see what you can learn because when you're buying these things, guys, this is not a joke. We just received 28 pallets of stuff and we paid a lot of money for this stuff that we now have to turn and churn and make some sort of a profit, right? Because we are a business and that's exactly what we're trying to do here. So that's my reality check for you guys because uh, honestly, recently I've been getting a lot of phone calls from a lot of people that want to buy truckloads, but they're just not ready. And I'm sorry, you know, um, if you catch me on a phone call, I I'm going to keep it real, all right? I don't beat around the bush. If you're telling me you're going to deliver this to your front yard, I'm going to tell you that's not going to happen because you won't buy it from me. I'm sorry. We just can't do that. How could we drop this in a residential area and expect you as the customer, the paying customer to be happy and not blame us for it to be delivered in your front yard? You're going to want to shoot me. You're going to think you're going to be getting all these pallets with beautiful, nice tools and, you know, nicely packed. Look, look those are all pack outs, I think. Oh, it's a paint sprayer. I love those uh, those Milwaukee and the what, like the pack out things, so sick, and they're so expensive and they fly. But you know, everybody thinks it's gonna arrive like this, nice and clean, and you know, you can just kind of take it and scan it and look at it. There's a beautiful microwave there and sell it and a shop vac, but that's not the case, right? So we literally just unloaded this. You guys were here and there when I unloaded it. I grabbed the camera, first things first, and to show you guys what came in. So look, this one's great, right? KK was happy about this one because you got a brand new Dyson about it right here. This one's amazing because you got a bunch of brand new Milwaukee tools. One or two right off the top. Who knows what's on the bottom, right? Those two that we just talked about are amazing. They look clean. They look good. That one doesn't. That this one. This one's semi. These are good, but you know what this is? A whole freaking Gaylord of light bulbs. I would say majority are gonna be cracked or broken. So yeah, guys, that's liquidation. You buy a truckload and it's up to you as the potential liquidator to try and find the value in these things that have been returned or liquidated for a reason. I think that is a big thing that a lot of people forget about this industry is that you're buying stuff nobody wants anymore. You're like the last man on the totem pole of this product's lifeline, right? You're gonna try and extend it because now we are going to pass it on to the next guy that's going to either flip this as a pallet or you know, take that item and use it in their home, in their real estate endeavor, whatever it might be. You're kind of li like last on the supply chain, right? Like you're the guy that people call. So we're the guys that people call when they have a bunch of stuff that's packed into these Gaylords or pallets that they need to get rid of because it's not Christmas anymore and nobody wants Christmas lights or Christmas decoration, right? But unfortunately, we got to deal with it. So that's kind of uh, my quick tip of the day. But first things first, let's get to the unloading. Let's see how it came in, how it looked, and what KK's thoughts were when it first arrived. You know what really grinds my gears? Metal pipes put into a one-ply Gaylord <laughs> on the side. So now it's all ripping and coming apart. And not only did this take 15 more minutes than it should have to unload because it got stuck behind another pallet and we kind of had to finagle it out, but it also just kind of ruins this Gaylord, ruins this pallet, makes the warehouse a mess because if we keep messing with it, I'm sure this is going to collapse. You know what even makes it even better? Look at that metal pipe. You know what's mixed with? Three windows and some water filters. Really quality pallet here. I love it. It's gonna be a money maker for sure. <laughs> okay, so you guys kind of saw the gist. You heard my rant about the life of a liquidary not being easy, right? But, you know, we wouldn't be doing this if this wasn't making money, right? And that's kind of why I'm assuming you guys are on this channel is to learn how to make money with HD turbo loads or pallets. My best advice is when you're starting out, Find a quality liquidator and ask them the right question. Ask them, have you processed these? Have you touched these? Because if he has, I guarantee you those brand new Milwaukee tools are not gonna be inside your Gaylord. You're gonna find a bunch of broken light bulbs. So there's a lot of HD Turbo pallets. We're gonna sell these for $900 a pop, guys. This is an expensive pallet, right? I'm talking about the nice full stacked ones. Like those are gonna be like around like six to 900 to even $1,200 because we pr price out these truckloads because they're so irregular because there's just anything and everything comes, we have to price it out by the value, right? So this takes a little bit more processing on our part, but we make sure that the person buying it is actually getting the value that they should be getting, right? So that's one. 
Number two is have an end user in mind that you are going to be able to sell this to, right? So those heavy categories, those, you know, the plumbing pallets or the electrical pallets, some people are just going to come in here and write it off as junk. Junk, no money to be made. I don't see any eBay on here. I see this all the time from people coming into the warehouse trying to make money on these pallets. Well, I disagree. I don't think that's true. I think if you are actually a flipper, if you are actually a hustler, if you're actually an entrepreneur, you do see value in those. Because if you find a plumber that is doing, you know, a hundred jobs a quarter that needs those fittings, that needs that tape, that needs those PVC pipes, they're gonna pay you some very good money for it because they're going to Lowe's, Home Depot, Menard every single day at 6 a.m. before their job site to stock up on those little fittings or the tapes or the gloves that they might need, right? So if you find the right person for this product, these things are a money maker. But like I said, you have to find the right end user and you should probably start that little Rolodex going earlier rather than later, right? Like, hey, plumber, I don't have any plumbing stuff now, but I'm gonna save your number, you save mine, and hit me up in about two, three weeks because I just might. And that's exactly what we do here. Kamil has a bunch of people that in his Rolodex that he sells these pallets to specifically. You know, we have a tile guy, we have an electrical guy, we have a plumbing guy, we have a flooring guy. People that take these specific categories, they save a buttload of money because they don't have to buy them at full retail. And then we are able to get rid of the junk pallets that everybody believes are not worth anything, right? The retail flippers, the guys that, you know, are coming in here for the eBay and the Amazon, 100% a lot of money to be made on these Gaylords because of the tools, the fittings, the things that can be scanned and listed online. But the real money and the guys that are going to make some real profits and sustain this in the long term are going to be able to flip anything and everything, all right? Like example of the tiles that are broken right here that I gave you. The reason why I was telling you guys all about that is because I guess it pains me when I jump on these phone calls, talk to people via email or Facebook, and a lot of people, you know, oh, that's junk. This is crap. I can't make money with that. Well, then good luck to you because you're not going to make it very long in this industry, all right? The guys that survive, the guys that are profitable, and the guys that build long and sustainable businesses are the people that can adapt and can make money out of anything, all right? You got to learn how to recover the cash and flip it and make quick profits as best as you can out of anything that arrives, all right? If you're going to be the person that's always complaining, calling stuff junk, calling stuff garbage, garbage, pretty much being a pain in the ass of everybody involved, good luck to you. The, my favorite thing that I ever found on a Home Depot load was, ooh, we found a whole pallet, no bullshit, it was a whole pallet, I'm talking about like 500 units of Ryobi batteries. These Ryobi batteries that came in in like a Gaylord like this, it was a freaking just money palette like if you ever seen a money palette that was it it was all like it was you know there has some fixtures and stuff on top and then the bottom like literally from three quarters down was just straight ryobi batteries all of them we sold the shit out of those on ebay and it made a killing on it we probably paid for a half of the truckload just off that one palette right so uh there is home runs and there's a lot of money to be made, but uh, you just gotta deal with the not desirable pallets and items as well, right? And if you figure that part out, you'll be in good shape. All right, so like I said already five times, because every time I, I get a Home Depot in, I just think of my dad automatically because he's like, call me so you can come and you know look at some stuff. But uh, this is the perfect example of what my dad would get excited about and I'm pretty excited about, because look at this stuff. So this is how it came in. You see that pallet over there? Yeah, that pallet was on top of this. Why? Who knows, they needed to clear some space. But look at this thing, this thing is heavy as shit. Oh, it's tape, not tape, but. <laughs> this is a beautiful countertop that we're gonna keep and either make like a studio table out of it or, yeah, this thing is clean. It's probably damaged at some point. You can see the return tag. I can't show you guys a personal address. That would just be unfair. But it's probably either cracked somewhere or scratched up or this was, an order for somebody that's doing a kitchen or a studio or a whatever it might be, an office, and they just decided that they don't like the color anymore or whatever, and they returned it. But because it's shipped from the distribution center, it went straight to liquidation instead of being put back on the shelf. Because some of these things are custom, but not really. I guess this brings me to another good point is, if you're buying truckloads, if you're buying pallets, become the expert of the retailer that you're liquidating, right? Like. You gotta understand how HD or how Target sells their stuff in the first place, in their store, when, you know, to the end consumers, to the end users, when the product is brand new, how are they selling it there? 
so then when you get it here, you have a better understanding of how that operation works. So then you can make better money when you're liquidating their returns or overstocks, right? So, but uh, this thing is sick. 1000% keeping it. My dad's coming tomorrow on Saturday and I'm gonna float it out to him and see what he can make out of this. And before all YouTube warriors get all excited and trigger happy in the comments, oh, you pull stuff off a truck, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. If we didn't touch these pallets, tell me, would you buy these two? Would you buy this one or that one that, that's filled one fourth or the one of the pipe? No, we're gonna have to take this one, take these damn pipes off of it, put them on one of those, right? And then take the rest of the stuff and refill the ones that are one half filled. It just makes sense, guys. It's We're not processing this, we're not cherry picking it, whatever other buzzword that you saw on Facebook you wanna use to describe this process. But what this does is makes this thing sellable. It makes this thing worth your while. If I charge you $900 for this one and $900 for this one, how long do you think I would sit on this? Makes sense, right? Sometimes you gotta keep it real and tell you guys exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it so you guys can get better in your own business and entrepreneurial endeavors as well. Because at Nice Fine Wholesale, we always keep it real, we keep it honest. When we open up our mystery boxes and Amazon stuff, you're gonna see exactly what's in them. We're not prepping them with iPads and iPods and whatever else that people are just think they're desirable. A lot of people do do that and it's and it's not fair. We don't do it here. So uh, keep it real, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video. That's HD Turbo for you. So if you ever wanna hear the truth from me or anyone else at Nice Fine Wholesale, uh, send us an email, sales at nicefinewholesale.com or give us a call. I should probably memorize this number, but it's gonna be right here. <laughs> Hit us up for references, for truckloads, for pallets, whatever you might need information wise or you wanna buy a truckload or a pallet off of us, let us know, let me know. We'll point you in direction in the right direction. So schedule a call, schedule a visit. If a liquidator you're trying to see isn't allowing you to come in their warehouse, pass on that and move on to the next one because the more transparent this business is, the better it is for everyone. And that's kind of why we do our videos, the, why we do our videos, pretty much. Let me end it at that. So hit us up. Looking forward to talking to you guys. See you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, baby! Thank you.